Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. Today I'm in front of the Synology NAS as you can see here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be upgrading one of the drives to an 8TB. That currently is a 4TB in it and it's 8TB. If you're familiar with my network series, um, the last that we left at it, there was only two drives in here. Now there's four drives in it. All that is to come in part three. Um, there's just been a lot happening and yeah. But anyway, that'll be part three of the network series. So I've bought a brand new eight terabyte Iron Wolf drive, as you can see there. Uh, it's not come through because I've still got the uh, plastic sealant on there. But um, how to change it, technically, this is a hot swappable drive. So I could technically open it up now with it powered on. But I don't like the idea of that. So I'm going to shut it down. Let's just go over to the computer now and we'll quickly shut it down. So here we are now. You should be seeing the computer screen now. Um, at the moment, let's drag this up over here. We have 6.3 of 10.7 terabytes uh, free. So it's 10.7 that is actual usable space here. I'm not expecting this number to change because the way that the RAID works. I'm half expecting it to eat up this 8 terabyte drive considering it will be the largest drive on the NAS. But it allows room for expansion in the future when I add another 8 terabyte in Bay 2. So first thing we want to do is we want to shut this um, drive down. Top right here. And then we just want to hit shut down at the very top right. It'll come up here. Are you sure you want to shut down? Yes, we do. So we're going to hit OK. And now it's going to power off. And you should see that soon on that camera, hopefully. You can see all the lights flashing there. In fact, let me just turn off the big light. There we are. You can see them flashing a bit more there. And there we are. Just like that. It is now fully powered down. So now what we want to do is just pull out the one that we want to use. In fact, let's put some light in. All right, so we're going to pull out this one here because this is the oldest drive. You remember me installing this. So let's pull this one out. And as you can see, hopefully, if the camera will focus, that's a four terabyte drive. And then we're going to replace this with an 8 terabyte. Let me just put the 8 terabyte on this sledge and we'll pull it in. Right then, so if the camera will focus, there is the 8 terabyte drive going in. So we will slide that straight in on the left one because that's obviously where I got it out from. So there we are, slide it in. This should work on most uh, Synology drives as well as any others. Like I said, this is a hot swappable drive, but just for safety, I choose to power it down. Now you can lock the drive if you want to, and then just hit the power button. If I can, there we are. Turn the light off so you can see that lock booting up. And then when it boots up, it will most likely start beeping at us, and then we'll go onto the system and I'll show you the rest from there. There you go, you can now see all the activity lights carrying on. And any minute, the only one that's not uh, flashing is the B1, which is a solid on light. Right, there we are, I've got a login screen on the window, so we will go back to the computer now and log in. In fact, hopefully you can see that, hear that, it is now beeping at me. And the status light is now orange, as you could tell there on the right. Right, we have now logged in and it's coming up here saying we have a critical error on the storage pool. This is what we were expecting. So we basically just have to fix it. So we've got a beep reminder here at the top right coming up. Uh, that is exactly what we were expecting. Now to fix it. Right, so we got the overview here of the drive and everything, it's still beeping. Uh, we now need to basically fix this drive, as you can see there. So I just clicked on the one, it went straight down to the hard drive. But we want to go in storage here, and then we've got the storage pool. So the storage has degraded. So we got we can see drives 2, 3, and 4 degrade. That's 
basically normal. That's what we are expecting to happen. And then I believe if we go into volume one, so we can just click repair now. That will then pop up this drive here. So you see drive one is 7.3 terabytes because obviously it takes a little bit out. Click on that. Estimated ca uh, capacity after the fact would be uh, 10.9. So let's just close that down. Remember it was 10.7, so it's giving us a little bit extra. But as I said, because it's the first eight terabyte drive, it's not going to fully, um, fully date. It's going to basically use this as its uh, RAID drive, I should imagine. So we we'll just click next. And then estimated capacity is by there, fast repair, click apply. All the data newly added to the drive will be erased. So that means if there was any data after you tried adding it, it's going to be erased. But I haven't added any data for a couple of days, so I should be fine. And there we go. We we'll just hit go. And now we can see it initialized and it's healthy. And at the very top right hand side, left hand side should I say, initializing drive at 12.49 and the beeping has now stopped on the hard drive itself i don't know if you could hear that in the background so there we are it has initialized the drive and now it's doing the repair process which apparently is going to take four days but i know from the last time that i added a the couple of other drives that it doesn't take that long it's just what it says so I'm going to cut the video here now and we will come back once all this lot is done. For me it's most likely going to be tomorrow since I am now working nights but for you it's going to be any second now. And there we are. There is the next day for me now. Um, for you it would be obviously a couple of seconds later. Um, I'm not 100% sure how long it took. It was early hours in the morning when I looked at it and it was still building. So you're looking a good 7 hours plus to do this realistically. Uh, but as you can see here, the 7.8 terabyte, uh, 7.3 terabyte, should I say, that is the 8 terabyte drive there. Obviously, it all drives, it takes a little bit away because all these are 4 terabytes and say 3.6. But the drive is normal, healthy, and it's a part of the storage pool or the volume, should I say. And due to the Synology RAID, hybrid RAID, it's taken up that one drive for the one drive protection tolerance, the fault toler tolerance, basically. And you can see that 6.3 out of um, 10.7. So next time I add in an 8 terabyte drive, you'll see that number actually going up. Um, so we will be doing that when another one comes on offer. Thank you all for watching. If this video is helpful to you, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all to my Patreon subscribers. Their names will be coming at the top right hand side of the screen right now. Uh, if you want to join them and become a Patreon, the link is in the description. Also down there in the description is the link to my Discord server, which you can join and have a chat to me if you want to. Um, catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now, everyone.